Hi, this is uh, attorney Quasi Smith and I'm the managing partner here at Smith & Green Attorneys at Law. Uh, we are a multi-jurisdictional practice uh, located in the city of Phoenix, Arizona, uh, who practices in uh, several different areas um, of law. Uh, one of the things that I'm often asked and the lawyers here in the office are uh, asked quite often is do I have a case? That seems to be the common question. Of course, uh, coming into court and suing somebody can be a great ordeal. It can be a very time consuming thing, a very expensive thing, certainly a very emotional thing. It takes a toll on your, on your mind, on your emotions, on your family, on your resources. And again, a very important question I think that all um, potential litigants should ask is, do I have a case? That's a big question. I don't even know if most lawyers like answering that question do I have a case? Because there could be so many answers. Um, in uh, Shakespearean language, it's like the question to sue or not to sue. That is the question. I got to come into a courtroom and stand in front of a judge, stand in front of a jury, depending on what the case is about, discuss my personal business, things that may be of an embarrassment to me, things that the general public doesn't know about. And oftentimes, it, uh, if it's not in a specific area of law, this stuff becomes public record. And so it's what do I do? Do I have a case? And being able to hear that and interpret that, uh, is it worth my time? Is it worth my money before I get into this long process? We answer that question quite often, but the answer sometimes seems vague. And most lawyers would have the same answer. Do I have a case? Well, maybe, but there's always a maybe, but. In other words, can I go sue somebody? Well, sure, you can go sue whoever you want to sue. But the question is, um, how successful are you going to be? And so there's a number of things that we look at when answering that question of do you have a case or not? There's several factors. First of all, what are the, the claims? What are they? What, 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 what are you suing about? Uh, is there a genuine or material uh, claim that can be filed with the court? Are they frivolous? Are you just mad? Was what happened to you illegal or was it just unfair? Because you do understand there's a great deal of difference between unfair and illegal. Is this something that the law can support? Is there an actual cause of action? That's the number one question that you want to be able to answer. Second, is the court that you're trying to file this thing in, is it going to have jurisdiction, be it one of the federal courts, a state court, a tribal court, if you um, are, 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 are on tribal lands? Um, uh, is this going to be filed in justice court or the municipal court? Um, is there going to be jurisdiction over the persons that you're trying to sue, the entities that you're trying to sue um, and over the subject matter of what you're trying to sue? Um, can the court have jurisdiction over that? Has any time lapsed uh, in that? There's, of course, there's statutes of limitation. You have to answer that third question. Is this lawsuit timely? Uh, I, 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 my car got ran into 15 years ago. I think I want to sue them now. It's probably outside of the statute of limitation. And so all of those are considerations that must be taken into place when you're determining to sue or not to sue. Is there evidence to support my suit, my claim, my cause of action? Do I have enough circumstantial evidence or direct evidence? Circumstantial evidence is, you know, kind of things that if you put them all together, it kind of can prove your case. Direct evidence is uh, like the smoking gun, witnesses that were actual witnesses um, that were there. Do I have this stuff in place? Another important question in determining whether you have a case or not or is the damages. Were there damages? They ran into my car, but I didn't get hurt. The insurance company fixed your cars, but I want to sue them because they ran into me and I want a million dollars. Well, wait a minute, but what are the damages? You have to ask yourself that. Were you injured? Did you go to the doctor? Did you have to have a surgery? Did you lose an eye or a limb? These are all questions that must be answered when you're determining whether or not you have a case. I think a big question that must be answered in determining, quote unquote, whether you have a case or not is can I be successful in court on this? There are times where you do have a claim. You were treated in a manner that's inconsistent with prevailing laws. You do have some evidence that could support it. But the question is, can you be successful given all of the elements that need to be proven and all of the factors that weigh into whether to file a lawsuit against someone or not? One of those factors is the cost that are associated with filing a lawsuit. Depending on what kind of lawsuit that you are contemplating filing, the cost can be great. 
a medical malpractice case. You have to bring in experts in that area, in that field to determine whether this doctor or this dentist or whomever has deviated from the standard of care that is expected. This can be a, a very expensive undertaking. How many people are gonna have to be deposed in this case? Uh, are we gonna have to hire a private investigator? What are the manpower hours that the law team is going to have to put into the case to make sure that all of the claims are vetted properly and presented properly? And then I think most importantly is a cost benefit analysis. This analysis, this is how much money it's going to take me to file this lawsuit. This is where I'm getting these resources from. And this is the plausible outcome. If it's going to take you, if you're suing somebody for a, a $1,500 scratch on your new Maserati, but it's going to take you $20,000 in experts and depositions and all of that, do you really want to spend $20,000 to get 1500 now i know that's an exaggerated uh, uh example but that is literally what the process that you have to go through within yourself that is a process that you should go through with the lawyer uh, that you pick of your choice and then you and again you need a lawyer that's going to be open and honest with you and discuss these things with you because sometimes i have told clients that i get it but is it worth your time is it worth your money to file a lawsuit on this matter and so you want to contact an experienced attorney, you can contact our law office. We'd be glad to talk to you about your case and determine, do we sue on this case? Do you have a case or do you or, or do you not have a case? And if you do have a case, should you sue or should you not sue? Call our office or call some other competent attorney that'll have an honest and open conversation with you about what it is that you are contemplating uh, filing a lawsuit about so that you can get the best outcome and the best results for what you feel needs to be addressed in court.